back on Most Buffalo and tomorrow is National Save a Rhino Day and who better to talk more about that than our own resident animal lover Maria. Hello Maria again. Hello Kelly. Well I have to tell you I had a blast this week. Yes as you said tomorrow is National Save a Rhino Day and actually the month of May focuses on rhino survival. So we took a trip to the zoo where they just made today a very special announcement and uh, we wanted to take a peek at the rhino situation at the zoo. So here is part one of our three part series as we go wild at the Buffalo Zoo. That'd be it right there. What looks undistinguishable to us is crystal clear to assistant curator Joe Hauser and Dr. Voli of the Buffalo Zoo. Tashi, the one horned Indian rhino, is pregnant. We can uh, determine pregnancy at about day 18 to day 20 to about 100 days. Then we can continue to watch that embryo grow. Tashi is 10 months pregnant and will give birth this fall. It'll be her fifth calf. Two years ago, she gave birth to Mohan, her first male offspring. So who's the lucky father? Well, meet George, and he is quite a catch. Oh boy. So he came here from the Bronx Zoo, uh, and he's actually the second most genetically valuable male in the North American population, so he's extremely valuable. After a short courtship, it was a match. Genetic diversity, it's the name of the game, and that's why Mohan was conceived differently. His father arrived in a test tube. It's all part of the species survival plan. We do that, all that work in the lab, then we'll bring it over here um, when we know it's the right time for the female, uh, making sure she's done with her estrus behavior um, and she'll easily work with us. A survival plan is needed. Adult rhinos have no natural predators, none except man. Poaching is still a huge issue. These horns are very valuable on the black market, which we're trying to reduce by education, you know, telling people that they are not very valuable, they're useless, but because of a lot of traditional beliefs, that drives the price up. But these little birds might ward off poachers. See, these are red-billed oxpeckers, and they like to ride around on the backs of rhinos and eat bugs, but they do more than that. They may act like lookouts, See, rhinos have horrible vision, but the oxpecker has excellent vision. And it also emits a hissing sound when it senses danger, which alerts the rhino. Researchers found that rhinos with oxpeckers could detect a human approaching 100% of the time, as opposed to only 23% of the time without oxpeckers. Nice to have friends, huh? Oxpecker or not, rhinos need us to take action in order to survive. So what can you do? Take part. May 5th, the International Rhino Foundation celebrates Cinco de Rhino. It's an all day event with a virtual safari, speakers, and suggestions on how you can be part of the solution so that we can celebrate more of this in the wild. Well, you just met Tashi. Now meet the zoo's other shining star, Lulu. Can you see the difference? No? Well, you will next week when we go wild at the Buffalo Zoo.